Okay, so I'm just going to do a few examples then uh, of simple functions. So I've defined three functions at the top here. So f is a machine, if you like, that takes input x and gives out x squared plus 7. Uh, g is defined as taking the input x and sort of multiplying it by 3 and adding 4. And h is defined by this function. Well, we put in x here and we do 3 divided by 2 minus x. So uh, firstly, f of minus 1 well, if I put minus 1 into this first function, so I'm going to replace x with minus 1, uh, that's minus 1 squared plus 7, which is 1 plus 7, which is 8. And notice we have to be careful uh, when we're substituting this in that the net that it's actually minus 1 that's substituted in, and it's x squared, so it's that, it's that value then squared uh, and plus 7. Um, g of 3, well, that's 3x uh, plus 4, so we're just going to replace x with 3 this time. 3 times 3 plus 4 is 13. And in the final one, h of 7, we're, we're going to put 7 into this machine and see what we get out. So we'll replace x with 7, and that's 3 divided by 2 minus 7. So that's 3 divided by minus 5, that's uh, minus 3 fifths. So the next question is uh, says solve g of x equals 19. Um, so what this means is, well, you know, saying what value of x do we take so that g of x is equal to 19, i.e. what input x can we put into this function uh, to get an output of 19. So, uh, to, sort, to work this out, well, g of x equals 3x plus 4, so we can replace uh, g of x here with uh, 3x plus 4, so I can say, well, 3x plus 4 equals 19, and now we can solve this equation, so subtracting 4 from each, each side gives 3x equals 15, and dividing by 3 both sides gives uh, x equals 5. And we can just check back in here, well, yeah, if we do 3 times 5 plus 4, that gives us 19. So we have found the input that has output 19. Same for this next one, then. It says solve h of x equals 2. Well, um, uh, h of x equals 2, so let's replace h of x with... Uh, 3 divided by 2 minus x, that's all equal to 2. Essentially we're looking for which value of x we can put into this function to make that output equal to 2. Uh, to solve this one we can multiply both sides by 2 minus x, so we get 3 equals 2 times 2 minus x, and multiplying out the brackets uh, we get this, and then subtracting 4 from each side gives minus 1 equals minus 2x, and finally uh, x equals uh, one half, and you can check if you put one half into here that we'd get two minus a half is one and a half, and three divided by one and a half uh, is two, because uh, three is twice one and a half. So that's solved the problem. Uh, one last example then: uh, solve f of x equals eight x. Uh, slightly different here. It's not just saying, well, you know, which uh, x do we put into this function to get uh, a certain number out, like we had here, but actually we're saying, okay, when is it that the output is 8 times the input. When I put x in, I get 8x out, so the output is 8 times the input. Well, um, I'm going to solve this in exactly the same way. Uh, so the input here, uh, x gives an output of x squared plus 7, so f of x is uh, x squared plus 7, so we can say, well, x squared plus 7 equals 8x, and now we just need to solve this equation. We can see this is a quadratic equation in x, so I'm going to subtract uh, 8x uh, from both sides to make it all equal to 0. And I can see actually that this one factorizes as uh, x minus 7 times x minus 1 uh, equals 0. And so that means that either x equals 1 or x equals 7. If you haven't done quadratic equations yet, don't worry too much uh, about the details there, or you can look at the uh, videos on quadratic equations. Um, but we found two values that solve this equation, x equals 1 or x equals 7. And again, looking back at the uh, equation to start off with here, we could say, well, um, if we put 1 uh, into here, well, we get f of 1, that's 1 squared uh, plus 7, which is 8. So that one is 8 times 1, that's 8 times the input. And similarly, if we did f of 7, that's 7 squared plus 7, which is 49 plus 7, which is 56. And we know that 56 is... Uh, 8 times 7, so that's also another value that uh, is 8 times the input. And because we've solved it systematically as an equation, you know, we found we found both values, and we know that they're both 
uh, correct and that they're the only values because anything that solves this must solve this equation. Uh, you know, sometimes people will will just spot that one is an answer, say, and say, oh, well, the answer to this is x equals one. I've solved it. But actually, the problem, you know, uh, would be there that you've missed this other answer, seven, because uh, one, you know, you might just you know try a few values and, and hit on that, but you can only know that you've got all the answers that you need if you've taken this sort of systematic al algebraic approach.